Hey garden family, it's Miss Craft. Um, I was doing some reorganization of my garden area because I want to add a few more beds, um, especially since I'm looking to grow like larger crops, larger size crops like collards and things like that. So I wanted to add some more beds. And when I went to move one of my um, one of my pots, I noticed that my tomatoes were being decimated. <laughs> So we are now on the hunt for the little bugger um, to see where he is. Um, the hornworm um, actually really weren't that bad this year. I mean, my, my larger bed, and if you can see I broke, I gotta fix that. But anyway, the larger bed really wasn't that bad. Um, I found like maybe four total for the year, so that's not bad. Um, but still, <laughs> you know, you wanna be able to keep your tomatoes as long as you can um, and with this being the last hurrah um, I want to see if I can get a few more before it's all said and done so let's go hunting when I first noticed this one here this tomato plant here under here um, was full one day and then it wasn't um, and then I looked down underneath and sure enough I saw a bunch of droppings they're all dried up now but um, but I couldn't find him so I said okay let's keep looking let's keep looking so then I got my um, okay so anyway this one's gonna be um, a no-go <laughs> for the rest of the season so I might as well pull that up um, but then I went around to my black cherry and it's still small uh, like I said this was the last end of season rescue I didn't expect much from it but you know you always want to give it a try Anyway, I don't see any damage on this one, so we're, we're good on that one. Now, this vine right here is one leg of one plant that I let uh, fall to the side, which is fine, because it'll just root and find, find some more nutrition elsewhere. But it was actually a topper off of the yellow tomatoes over there. Uh, when I went to prune it back, um, I pruned the top and uh, planted it and it came to be over here so this vine was fine but as I come around the corner here I started seeing some branches starting to disappear so we're hunting and we're looking and we're looking and we're hunting and well, what do you know? Can you see him? There he is. Just chomping away, enjoying himself. Matter of fact, he's kind of still right now because he knows I'm here. But there he is. So we're going to give him his last meal. <laughs> on this plant I'm going to go ahead and snip that branch that he's on and toss him away I, I, I can't kill him I mean I gotta give him a chance to do his thing but um, yeah he's he's just having a good old time eating my plant so we found you a little bugger well you're not little anymore <laughs> and what's amazing about this thing um, I actually think they're kind of pretty you know, the fact that they can blend in so well with the plant is just awesome to me. That's just the way nature works. Oh, but yeah, you can see he just had a, a, a wonderful time up here. But anyway, um, he's not full size yet, or he or she is not full size. He's probably like maybe half the size that he can possibly get. Um, these guys, if they survive, turn into some of the most beautiful moths. Some can be about the size of your hand. Um, which is why these guys are so big, but um, yeah, I just don't like them on my tomatoes. Because <laughs> you go reach your hand in there and you're thinking you're like moving some things around and it'll drop on your arm. And, ew, no, no, no. Nature needs to stay with nature and uh, humans need to stay with humans. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and um, release him to the wild. Um, let him try to survive out there, <laughs> away from here. And hopefully we can get a few more tomatoes off of this plant. As you can see, I got some 
some um, flowers there. I actually do have some fruit down here. Um, it rained really bad a few days ago, so now my fruit's splitting. Oh well. Like I said, it was it's the uh, end of season, so you can't expect too much. Um, but on a happier note, my peppers are starting to put out some really nice flowers, so I may actually get some bell peppers before the season's out. Fingers crossed on that. Okay, with that, let's say goodbye to Mr. Squiggly, and I will talk with you all later. Bye.